the Diamond Gang. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe if you want to. With that being said, I'm about to go ahead and get into this unboxing and review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So I ended up getting this today, and it's it right here. And we're about to unbox it. I just open up the box cut my finger a little bit too but um y'all about to see my first impression my reaction of opening up this iphone so we're going to see this together okay and i'm ready all right so here he is the iphone 12 pro max i end up getting the 128 gigabyte I usually get the I think 256 gigabyte because it was sold out of that one. But it's 128 gigabyte that will do. And um, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and open up the box and see what's all in the box. This is so exciting! First impressions like just the back alone is beautiful all you see is white you see the Apple logo the camera sealed off in silver chrome and you can see the silver chrome on the sides even though it's not out the box so I'm about to go ahead and take it out the box all right so it look like we got like a white shield on the front of it to protect it so I'm about to just go ahead and tell you what's in the box charger well, booklet full of like little things directions and of course the apple sticker and all that stuff you know that usually just stay on care about that i just care about the phone but i noticed that i didn't get no um no block i noticed that the phone didn't come with a block that's weird like they've been slacking on the blocks i don't know what's going on why they not doing blocks? Why is the box smaller? All that stuff. Like, what is going on? Where's my block? But I'm about to go ahead and take the seal off this front. All right, so I'm trying to watch my show and do this unboxing uh, and review. I'm about to go ahead and take off the paper. Oh, wait. It's a 2021 phone right here. It's chromed out. Uh, <laughs> So freaking cute. I am so glad that they did come back with the square. I said that to my fiance. I'm so glad they came back with the box shape. Oh, that curve. Like they was looking too much like Samsung. So they went back to the original shape phone. And I like this. I love this. This is cute. It's like all face. Look, I'm like geeking right now. I'm ready to play with it. They up here looking at me like, oh, we like it. Yes, I love it. It's cute. So I was in between if I wanted to upgrade the phone for my 11 Pro Max. To the iphone 12 pro max i'm a big video person and picture person especially with youtube i like great clear footage so that was the whole reason why i ended up switching to the iphone 12 pro max is because i want clear footage for you guys i want you guys to see the footage nice and clean and crisp you know no blurry stuff no background looking real dark none of that stuff if anything that's going to help me make my videos look even better that's what i'm shooting for so, of course, everybody know I do my videos on my phone. So, hopefully, this right here does the trick. Like, oh my goodness. I don't plan on upgrading unless I see a super, 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 super big change when they come out with the 13. But, this is the phone I have for 2021. I love it. So, look at the details. You have the silver chrome on the cameras. The silver chrome on the side. White in the back. Gloss Apple logo. All face oh, out. This is so beautiful. I love this. Y'all know I love silver. And then the silver with the white, like that is just amazing. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say I love this phone. So I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I love this freaking phone. It's so cute. It's 
good in my hands and you know it ain't gonna slip you know i can grip it like i'm used to the uh, pro maxes anyways for the larger size i was debating to get the iphone 12 pro versus the pro max but it wasn't too much of a difference but i like the bigger view i already done ordered um a screen protector and um a case to protect it because this this is beautiful like oh my god so what i'm about to do now is set my phone up real quick and get it transferred over and all that good stuff and then i'm going to go ahead and do a video view of the iphone 11 pro max and i'm going to do a video view of the 12 pro max and then i'm going to do a picture view at the same thing on both phones as well then i'm going to show you guys what it looked like and then i'm gonna come out in this video comparison of both phones as far as video and picture wise now we have the phones right here side by side with, by each other and as you see there's just like a slight hint like maybe like a little inch of a difference as far as size but i must say like i definitely feeling the iphone 12 pro max so far of course you know the iphone 12 pro max has its square body about time and the iphone 11 pro max has this round body and yeah like i love it i love the difference i'm loving what i'm seeing all right guys so overall i'm gonna say that the iphone 12 pro max have done its thing as far as video quality and all that good stuff and the phone the way it looks the sleekness of it is beautiful and i'm feeling it so I know I said I wasn't sure if I was gonna get the iPhone 12 Pro Max because it ain't too much of a difference. With me actually having it in my hand and trying it out and seeing how it works, I definitely see a difference as um, far as video and uh, video quality and picture quality. So that was basically one of the number one things of why I ended up going for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. If you're on what I'm on as far as video, video quality and picture quality, I would definitely go ahead and invest in it if you're not, I would definitely stick with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. With that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment down below. See y'all guys in the next one.